So hello again for yet another time. I'm Daniel and we're back to the character modeling uh, tutorial and we'll continue with this awkward mouth um, and fix things. So first of all, I think it's a bit too wide and the shape doesn't look quite right. So let's make it smaller with proportional editing and check from the side. Um, I guess we can, now uh, let's leave it as it is. Uh, we'll now work our way around it and to fix things um, here in this region. So we'll have to expand everything. Uh, select these couple of uh, vertices and extrude them outwards. Um, now fill these here. The reason why I didn't uh, extrude the inner ones as well is because we have the mirror modifier on and we could, but you know, we have already placed the vertices in the middle so. Uh, why don't we just use what we have already? Um, the normals here are probably inverted and looking into the wrong direction. Um, so let's select just the mouth area, like this with box selection, for example, and recalculate the normals and say inside. Yeah, this looks more correct, I think. So here we'll have to um, see and figure out how a face looks like. Now, one good advice that I can give you is um, to, I mean, it's obvious, but look at reference. So if, in, for example, we're now modeling faces in this kind of anime style. And uh, basically what you could do is look at figures just you know these plastic figures that you can buy for um they are also 3d models and they carry lots of good information that you can study from so in case you're interested in doing more of this kind study those there are some there are tons of in, uh, images on the internet by the way a good um, place to look for images is um flickr actually i didn't really know much about that but i came across it when searching for references and i found that it has quite good galleries of people who really like photography and so that's a good place to look for images now as for this modeling um for the modeling part that i'm doing now uh i'm just interested at the moment at finishing the you know, a structure um, and accepting the fact that it looks weird at the moment. Um, we'll have to work on that all later. So don't worry at the moment too much about shaping it or, you know, following this tutorial along as actual, uh, accurate. Oh God, I can't say this one. <laughs> just, just, um, you don't need to spend too much time on this. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, later on though, spend a good amount of time on it and adjust everything that you need to. If you have this kind of pro pro uh, problem, just go to object mode and set everything to smooth again. And then just fill up these final areas. Uh, this is a bit of a tricky part, uh, which is why I left it for, you know, the end. Let's see, we should connect these here, but oh, maybe let's do it like that. That seems to work. We just have an uneven amount of vertices here, so we have to decide for some place to fit in a few more. Um, maybe like that. Could that work? No, it's probably better for us to add it here. Let's see how that works does work but yeah I guess I guess that's good I mean you know what I said in the last part about topology that's all right so now it's time for actually shaping things I think uh, since it looks not as what we're looking for yet actually it's not too bad but you know let's make it better um, proportional editing is always a good friend of ours uh, it helps us to actually shape things as if 
uh, like trying things out. You see, we're very little looking at references here. Um, I prefer rotating around the object as much as I can to really get an idea of how the 3D model looks like. And then I just use various tools like Vortex Smooth or proportion editing and grabbing and things like that to um, get the desired shape of everything. Now the mouth looks weird still. Uh, let's see, um, I think the corners are the problem. Um, and, and the lips, you know, everything. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Well, the nose is weird as well. I guess we have to do something here first. Um, and, and what's that anyways? <laughs> the structure here is weird. Let's delete this edge quickly. Uh, what I think that we could do is um, when deactivating clipping for a second, you can extrude this and let's approach it from this way. Um, so what I saw was that you, you see we have here this this line was really undefined so I'm trying to uh, give more vertices here so that we have um, material to adjust this with. Mm, I'm not very happy with it though still. Uh, let's try to let's try to um, first of all get the silhouette right. So something like that should do. Uh, over here we have a little bit of a curve in the nose. Mm, I guess that's good so far. Whoa, the mouth looks even weirder now. <laughs> well, that's kind of the fun thing about 3D modeling, I guess. And the challenge as well. Um, one of the things that I that are pretty useful, don't forget, if you use proportion editing with a connected tool, uh, you can, with the lips, simply move them around without manipulating the upper one. It's pretty cool. So here right now I just uh, increase the size of the lower lip without interfering with what we did with the upper. So that's pretty useful in this situation. Um, maybe also keep in mind that um, depending on how you're shading it, um, the actual silhouette is more important than uh, the, sh the shape in 3D itself. Or, I mean, if you're 3D printing, it's, it's again, a different matter. But um, depending on what you're going for, it's, at this point, already a good idea to think about um, how, how to deal with various issues. Because some of them you can just cheat and not do anything about it you know what I mean. Um, and some others you have to find fixes. So it's getting better, you know, it's not necessarily good, but I guess once we continue working on this and, you know, once we have some hair and more things to actually figure out um, the look of the face, it will be easier for us to um, adjust the facial features. Now let's give it final adjustments and that will be it for this part then. Um, so yeah, we have some troubles here sometimes with um, topology as it seems, but we'll see how big of a problem that's in the end. So yeah, not very good at the moment, but as I said. Um, that's for later. Uh, let's, let's do one last thing. Um, let's just finish this upper loop here. That makes it look a bit better. I, I mean a bit more complete, in a, like for a part of, of a tutorial. That's what I mean. 
Um, so I guess we'll try first of all to just connect it. You know what I said about the break here, but we'll just try to connect it and see if that works. So connect all of these and and make sure to adjust them, especially the subdivisions, or else you will have some weird straight parts in the face and it doesn't look so good. Um, at this part, you see we have quite a bit of room for topology. So what you could do is try to close it like that. That way you have a little bit more detail on, on uh, this place and it looks a bit better. So this is kind of the shape that you want to have. Um, it's not really completely round. It has like here a corner um, as for your forehead. That's also with not not only with these kind of characters. Also, if you look at real people, that's what you will see. Uh, okay, that's it. Um, thank you for watching as always and hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this. Uh, that's how it lines, lines up with the reference so far. Uh, I guess we are still on the right track. Um, never mind that weird look of hers. <laughs> uh, see you in the next part. Have a good day.